An important skill to discuss uh, that's very basic and happens early on in most cases is filling your saline and contrast syringes. Um, oftentimes, you know, kits will come with these standard syringes. You basically have a blank syringe that doesn't have a color for saline, and then you have a smaller um, syringe that's usually yellow that will be for contrast. And most kind of basic uh, kits that you start off with, or trays rather, will have this uh, apparatus here that's used to fill saline and contrast quickly. Now, taking a quick look at this, um, it just begs a little bit of explanation. Essentially how this device works is that you have a line for drawing and this one is um, normally saline. And if there's ever any confusion, you can kind of trace the tubing back and see where it's actually going. But this one is always used for saline and you'll see a saline bag hanging off the edge of the, um, the table that you're working upon. This line here is for contrast. And again, you can trace it back. Um, here is where you'll plug in your syringes, which I'll show you in a moment. And then this line here is for flushing. So basically how this valve works is that it's a one-way valve where you'll pull in and then it will flush out here. Now this um, stopcock is important to kind of realize that when the handle is pointing in a direction, this is where it's closed. So in this orientation, you will draw from the saline line and then when you push, you will flush um, into the waste bag, which is hanging over the edge of the table. So just to kind of demonstrate what we're going to do at the start of our case is we'll fill up all of our syringes with the appropriate contents. So here we'll just draw back and we're drawing saline. And then if we were to kind of um, do this properly, we'll make sure to kind of push all of the um, the air out of our syringe here and we can flush it onto the towel here so make sure there's no air inside so we're not going to inject any air um, and good and we have our saline prepared and now what we'll do to draw our contrast is just move this orientation here blocking off this line and now we'll draw contrast from the contrast port okay and then we'll do the same thing here as well too. We'll make sure we kind of push out all the air, um, put it on our towel there. Um, and usually we fill these you know, halfway or a little bit more than halfway so we can aspirate. Um, but basically you'll have multiple syringes of each kind and you'll wanna fill them up at the beginning of the case. And um, it's always good to kind of close off the contrast port because you're often, um, you know, you're often gonna be using uh, saline and, and waste here. So to show you how to kind of push back, or let's say, you know, the, this, now we don't want the saline anymore, we would just want an empty syringe, you'll make sure that it's closed off to the contrast line, because if it's not, I'll show you. So if it's not, if it's like this and you flush, and you push in, this will actually go back through this line and contaminate your contrast. So you always wanna make sure that it's this orientation. This is a one-way valve, so it will go down this end here. So as I push, you'll see that it goes through this line to the waste bag. So we can do that like that. And then we have an empty syringe. And then with contrast, you know, we can also empty it out the the waistline but you want to get very comfortable kind of switching back and forth and making sure that you switch to get the contrast back and then you push it back here just to make sure you don't accidentally flush the wrong line all right so that's the basics of kind of filling up your syringes it's something we'll generally do at the beginning of most every case where you're using saline contrast so it's important to be kind of comfortable with how this works um, because you'll be using it very frequently. And you wanna make sure that you understand how the stopcock works and that you don't actually flush back into your contrast line. Um, that you are always kind of 
closing off the contrast unless you need it and making sure that you draw and flush appropriately.